We start with a big day in Lansing as lawmakers are set to take major votes over the next few hours. The House is expected to vote in a few hours on a repeal of right to work and background checks on gun purchases. And already today, the House passed an expansion to our state's Elliot Larson Civil Rights Act. News 8's Joe LaFergie is in the newsroom with those developments. Joe? Sue Emily, today's expansion of the Civil Rights Act is years in the making and it ended up passing with bipartisan support. Eight Republicans joined Democrats to expand our state's Civil Rights Act to protect LGBTQ people. The bill will make it illegal to fire or evict someone because of sexual orientation. Democrats and many activists across the state are celebrating this historic vote. We also heard from some Republicans who are concerned that this expansion will infringe on religious organizations. This moment is so meaningful to me personally because like so many across our state, I know what it's like to feel unseen, unheard, and alone. Like so many across our state, I struggled to find my place in a world that still made me feel as if these things inside me were somehow wrong and shameful. Religious freedom is the first civil right protected by the Bill of Rights. Anytime we make changes to our civil rights, we must be careful to deliberate whether this bill infringes on our individual religious freedom. Every other state has included language to protect religious freedom when making changes to their civil rights statute. However, no such provision is made in this legislation we are voting on today. Now the bill now heads to the governor's desk. She says if she'll sign it. The state house is expected to vote tonight on gun background checks and repealing right to work. Both of those bills still need to pass the Senate. Political reporter Rick Alvin is at the Capitol. He'll have a live update coming up at 5.